Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a completed project for Diamond Dyes Design Team. I created a really sweet mini album using this bucket mini album die and I just love this shape. I think it's so cute and uh, this die measures five or er, er, I'm sorry seven by five so it's a really good sized die. So this is this is what I use for for the um, album itself and then some of the other dies that I used used within the um, album come from the latest release summer release and that includes the starfish die set and these are really cute it's a three-piece set and I'm going to leave a link to diamond dies below in the description box so you could get a better look at some of these dies online I also used the seahorse die set and this is another three piece set really sweet this this die is a lot of fun I think I love that one I used the umbrella it's called the umbrella and raindrops um, set but I only used the umbrella in my album I used this it is the ocean waves border and this is the first time I used it and it really gives a cool effect and this border die measures six inches so it's perfect for cards or mini albums really cute I used the palm tree die and this die sh uh, sh comes out with a lot of detail I used the mini pail let's see the sand pail and shovel die so this is another cute set and I used the little fishy of course I just love that little fishy sorry about the glare there so I also used um, you know a few other dies from diamond dies and I'll point them out as we come to them but those are the dies that I used from the latest summer release and I for my paper I used the Pacific Cove by Craftsmith and I just love the beach tones in this the casual type um, beach tones in this paper collection like distressed and just I love the just the feel of this paper collection so that's the paper I used and this is my mini album I think it came out really cute I had a lot of fun working with this particular shape so um, this is the album there we go uh, so for my album I did use chipboard I uh, for the pages and I adhered my paper and then I went over all of my edges with white gesso I, I adhered the paper with my um, well with the my Aline's tacky glue and then um, then I went over all the edges and everything with some uh, white gesso just to give it a distressed look and also to color you know, um, the sides of the pages you know so that the gray from the chipboard wouldn't come through so that's how I created that I bound it with this uh, burlap type of twine that I'd picked up at Hobby Lobby at some point or another um, and I just you know fed it through kind of like a shoelace and tied a bow um, for an enclosure I adhered some of this blue twine and this um, orange and white baker's twine on the on the back page here and then I just you know tied it around all the different handles and tied a bow so that kind of works as an enclosure so that the pages don't all you know flop flop open and everything so that's what I did there I also went over all the pages and everything with a uh, walnut distress ink to give it you know just an aged look for the cover I used some canvas and I used canvas a lot throughout this album but I used a piece of canvas in the background there if you can see it and then I did some layering on top there's a cut apart sheet in the in the paper pack and um, I used one of the cut aparts life is good at the beach as my title 
and you can see here that there's a background piece tiki bar and there's a little surfing um, piece there so um, I just layered the different pieces and then I took one of uh, the palm tree that I had cut out of chipboard and I had used my watercolor crayons to color it and I am um, I layered it there and the white flourishes are from the Nature's Flourish uh, Diamond Dyes dye and I just left it white and then the flowers are from Recollections along with the burlap leaves um, and and this tiny little flower there so that's what the cover looks like I thought it came out really cute it was fun to um, layer all the different pieces for the pale handles you'll see on every page I used this um, trim that I had found at Hobby Lobby at one time and it's just a, a thicker burlap type cording so I thought that worked out really well for the for the pale handles on every page so let's go through and I adhered the twine on the back so that it would all stay together when you opened the album so the first page looks like this I created a pocket let me get this straight I created a pocket using some burlap. I did use my Fabri-Tac to adhere the, um, not burlap, canvas, to adhere the canvas along the sides. I did some stamping with my Memento ink of the Starfish, and this is a little cut apart from the paper uh, collection. It says Escape. And then I created these tags, um, and just to give it a more beach type feel I and for the texture I added little canvas you know um, banner there so this is good for maybe a photo or some journaling about a nice day spent at the beach um, I added um, a starfish here that I'd cut from the using the paper collection added another canvas um, banner and this is a tag that I had to cut down so it would fit in the pocket and I did some stamping of the anchor and the little fishy I had cut out of one of the wood grain um, colored papers and I thought that looked really really cool so I stapled him to the tag and again you can use this for a photo or do some journaling about a day or weekend spent at the beach really cute so they all just fit back in the canvas pocket. In the next page, this is where I used the wave border die and if you could see, let me hold it up, I had cut it out three different times in three different um, um, colors of paper and so the first layer I adhered to the to the uh, page, the second layer I put on dimensionals and then for this layer, I doubled up on my d dimensional uh, tape so that it s sat higher and it, you know, all that dimension. Then I added my little fishies throughout the waves. So I thought it came out really cute and different. So I did that and then I had altered the seahorse with my different um, watercolor crayons and some distressed glitter and I just adhered it to create little tuck spot for these cut aparts from the paper collection it says catch the wave and a picture of a starfish so I thought they were appropriate for this page and they could just be tucked right back in there and for every page facing this way I did add some burlap trim from Hobby Lobby and also I used the cording on the handles so I thought that made the page, pages cohesive. So the next page I just took a couple of different um, coin type envelopes and layered them up. This this one um, I did do some stamping of a seashell but of course I covered over it but, um, but it's cool the way you could see some of it. 
And then I layered this smaller envelope that I had gotten at um, a pack of them from Hobby Lobby. And again, I did some stamping. I tied some of this twine in a bow and adhered it there. And I just added some um, starfish that I had cut and um, a little seahorse back here on a pop dot. And inside the envelopes for this top one, I just added a couple of pieces that I had cut out of the paper collection and added a piece of canvas as, you know, to be able to pull them out and they could be used as journaling spots or whatever. And I made sure to put my tabs on either side so that they would both show. I thought that was cute. And then for this, for this um, pocket, I did the same thing. I staggered the I staggered the uh, tabs from the tags so that they could would all show. And it's just um, you know little journaling journaling tags or a place for some more photos. This one says beach. Set sail and surfing. And they all just can fit back in the white envelope. So I thought that came out really cute. And for this other page, I added my burlap trim and the uh, cording on the handle. And then I created a little beach scene. And for the sand, I did use the canvas. I had cut it so that it would look dimensional. Um, you know, like the pail was stuck in the sand there. And there's a the little shovel. And uh, a couple of starfish stuck in the sand, if you could see that there. And I just tucked those little tags behind the pail in the starfish. And then you can see that there's the umbrella that I had put. The, and I used it as a beach umbrella. So I thought that came out cute. And again, a couple of little tags cut from the paper collection. And they just fit right back in there. So I thought that came out cute. And then the next page is this, and I made another little pocket. And uh, for the pocket, I did edge it in some of this burlap trim from Hobby Lobby. And I did some layering with some of the different uh, cut-aparts, uh, castles in the sand, beach house, just for fun. And I created a couple of more, couple more tags using paper from the collection and some canvas. And uh, just another place for a little photo or some journaling or a quote, something funny that someone said. <laughs> and then I um, did some stamping on this tag, Life's a Beach, Paradise That Way, nothing on the back, and just added this um, orange twine, I thought it met, or Baker's twine, I thought it matched the paper collection really nice. So they fit back inside. And then for the last page, I used the Diamond Dies Picket Fence die, but I had trimmed off the little pointy part, the little top pieces that make it a picket fence. I had trimmed those off. I did some stamping on the fence, and then I just adhered it along each side, the bottom in here, so that I could use it as a pocket. And then I took this cut apart piece and I added some trim on the back so it looked like the lifeguard sign was just hanging on the fence. I thought that was cute. And so there's little, a few more tags in the fence pocket. And then over here you can see that I did put some white lace trim and a piece of twine on the back. Of the bucket and then some more of the thick twine on the handle. Really cute. And then for the tags I just used the cut apart pieces or whatever as the pull tabs. And big enough for little photos and some journaling on the opposite side. 
really cute just a sweet little mini album just plenty big enough to um, for a weekend at the beach you know and then on the back I did add this white rope on the back side of the album I just thought the white worked better this white cording worked better than what the thick burlap cording would have worked because of the design on the back of the um, album so I just need to sign it and date it so I thought it came out really sweet and it was a lot of fun like I said it was a lot of fun playing with these dies and working with this shape of the um, of the pail just really cute so I'm going to leave the link to diamond dies below in the description box and don't forget when you spend thirty five dollars or more and use coupon code thanks Karen you'll receive ten percent off your purchase plus free shipping so that's quite a deal and Dee has all sorts of dies um, listed at this point so I'm sure you're going to find something that will suit you so thanks so much for watching check out the links below and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon bye bye